Hi there, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your computer's firmware on Windows 10 or 11. If you are experiencing issues with your firmware, or if you go into the Device Manager application and see a yellow triangle error icon next to your system's firmware, then this indicates there is some sort of issue with your computer's firmware and it needs to be updated. Luckily enough, fixing this issue doesn't take a whole lot of work. To get started, open up your computer's web browser and type into Google your computer manufacturer's name and then drivers. Since my computer is a HP, I'm going to type in HP drivers. Now from the list of search results, click on the drivers search result. Make sure this is the official website for your computer's manufacturer. Since I'm using a HP laptop, I'm going to click on the laptop drivers search result. To make this process easier, I've listed links to the drivers for Dell, HP, Acer and Lenovo computers in the description below this video. Now that we're on the HP driver website, you're going to want to type in your PC model. To identify your computer's model, go into the Windows start bar and type in System Information and click on the search result that looks like this. Now from this dialog window, you can see your computer's model name next to the System Model field. As you can see, my computer is a HP EliteBook 840 G7 Notebook PC. Now from this search field, I'm going to type in my computer's model and click Enter on my keyboard. And now, I'm on my computer's driver page. To download the latest firmware for your computer, scroll down the page expand the BIOS firmware section and click on the download button next to the firmware driver. Once the firmware has downloaded, click on the file to run the installer. Once the installer opens up, click on the next button, then accept the terms and conditions, then next again. Now, the installer will finish installing your computer's firmware. This HP Update Firmware and Recovery dialog window will now display. Ensure the Update section is selected, unless you're trying to update another computer and you'd like to create a recovery USB flash drive, then you'll want to check the other checkbox. Now click on the Next button, then Next again. You'll now be asked if you would like to restart your computer or postpone the restart. I'm going to select restart now as I would like to update my firmware right away. As you can see, my computer has restarted and my BIOS is now updating. This process may take a few minutes to complete. Once the process has completed, your computer will restart and you'll be able to see when you go into the device manager that your system's firmware has been updated and there are no issues with it. And it's as easy as that, updating your computer's firmware is a fairly easy task to perform. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe.